Roman Reigns is so dominant, so powerful, so dangerous. He's an unstoppable physical force that backs down from no one. Roman Reigns has found an answer here. Thinking to avoid that. Roman Reigns gathering attention in a hurry. And out looking at Sheamus, what's the story for him right now? A strategy a superstar will lead against Sheamus is to not allow him to build momentum. If an opponent leaves an opening, the Great White will bust it wide open and begin to start stringing his power moves together. That usually spells the beginning of the end for Sheamus' opponent. Well, Cole, if you're going up against Sheamus, and I don't care who you are, you cannot let him start putting his power moves together one after the other. Your match with the Celtic Warrior will be over in a hurry if you do. Definitely looking good so far. Hasn't taken too much punishment up to this point. Oh my God! This could be the end of the match! Can he reach it? Any second, that thing's coming down! It's not gonna take long to bring it down now. Oh, this isn't good. How strong do you have to be to hold on like that? The crushing moves of the great getting closer. was a costly misstep. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. Right, and the message reads, P-A-I-N. He's taking a lot of punishment. Reigns might not be able to come back from this. It's actions like this that has made TLC an absolute can't miss event over the years. Listen, we all know coming up with a strategy against Sheamus is easier said than done. But you need something if you're going to take on one of the strongest forces in WWE. If you get caught up in the momentum of Sheamus, he will eat you up. Sheamus endures the rigors of the ring and shakes it off. Look at this offense. Sheamus is picking up steam all right. The Celtic Warriors starting to struggle. Look out below! Look out! And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. And he brings the action back inside the ring. Yeah, I, I, I think this is good strategy. He's looking at it. Hey, Sheamus. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. A suplex like that takes a lot of power and delivers a lot of impact. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. With a 40. Right on a small of a back. There is a fury that comes from deep within Roman Reigns. I mean, Reigns enters the ring like it's a battlefield, and he looks to completely wipe out his opponents from competition. Let's face it, Reigns is a beast. These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. You're right about that. The entire match can end in a heartbeat if somebody hits their big move. What a match this is going to be. I've been looking forward to this one for a long time, Cole. You know, Cole, look at this. Just a little further. He wants this battle decided inside the ring. And that's why. Look at, him, look at this. He's hanging by his nails. This could be coming down any second. Look at this. This could be it. No. Oh. Reigns gets taken off his feet. Uh oh. This might be angering Reigns more than it's hurting him. Oh no. That'll put your lights out quick. Move. 
We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, wait, nice reversal. Showing a great deal of faith and trust in that move. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Sheamus is a superstar who's broken a lot of barriers and a lot of skulls, King, but he's just a few inches from victory. Did he get it? Making it to the top of the ladder may be the easy part. Once you start working on bringing that thing down, you are completely vulnerable. He's wasting little time here trying to bring down the prize. Talk about catching a beating. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. He doesn't want to do this. Victory may be within reach right here. As prestigious and groundbreaking as that first WWE Championship may have been for Sheamus, his World Heavyweight Championship win in 2012 was no less of an achievement. It came on the grandest stage of them all at WrestleMania 28 against Daniel Bryan. If Sheamus' first title gave him a place on the map, that's high cross. Hey, one more time just in case you missed it. Here's your winner, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! Nice victory here tonight for Sheamus. I can assure you that that is not how Roman Reigns envisioned this one going. Folks, we just saw one of the most exciting matches you'll see anywhere.